I found a disease that no one has ever seen. Repetitive head trauma chokes the brain. The NFL does not want to talk to you. You turned on the lights and gave their biggest boogeyman a name. You're going to war with a corporation that owns the day of the week. No proof was presented today because there simply isn't any. They have to listen to us. This is bigger than they are. Can you give us a sense of how you found your way into this? Uh, my producers, Ridley Scott, Janina Scott, brought me the story. They had optioned an article that was about Bennett. Uh, that was in GQ, that came out at a time when football players were dying in a strange kind of anonymous silent epidemic. They were dying here and there in very violent, weird, suicidal ways. But no one was creating a pattern. No one put it all together. And then Bennett got this case. And, you know, he's the least expectant kind of hero. A Nigerian immigrant literally knows nothing about football player, players, but understands that this man has died for a reason that no one has ever seen in medical books before. And he discovered this disease that no one's ever identified and put it together and really end up, ended up unwittingly taking on, you know, one of America's sacred cows, the biggest corporate institution in the world, really. How much did you have to work with him to rein in that charisma and physicality that just kind of exudes from him? Will gives one of the most transformative experiences and acting performances I've seen in many years. But in this film, you know, we tra changed him physically a little bit. His hairline, his profile with his ears, we pinned them back. This accent we worked for months on, you know, to make it musical and joyful, the way the character sort of portrays himself. But Will himself will sit here and say he can identify the ways in which he changes. All I can say is when Billy and I were cutting together the first moments of the movie, there are long moments in the beginning of this film. We hold Will back at a distance when I defy anybody in this audience to even know it's Will on screen. Give us some ideas of the challenges of turning, you know, a, a procedural about a coroner, basically, with a lot of autopsies and brain tissue and things like that into such a fast-paced thriller. You want to keep the audience with, the, with your main character, with Will, what he's going through emotionally, what he's going through physically, what it's doing to his family, what it's doing to his life. And you're constantly trying to leave the audience on the edge of their seats, leave them in a situation where they're not sure what's going to happen to him next. You know, there's a point in the film where everything seems to be going well, and he thinks that he's really turned a corner with this investigation, and then the NFL gets wind of what's going on, and the world comes crashing down. So some of that is that, and some of that is just, you know, having a cascading feeling of, of things beginning to go wrong, continuing to go wrong, and his life falling apart. And I think, you know, the benefit of, for me, is, is having someone like Will, and he's so, he's so engaging, and he draws the audience in so well with his acting, so it's sort of up to me to, to find those moments that, you know, the audience is really with him and experiencing this sort of disaster and, and these things going wrong with him. So it just pulls the audience along. One of Billy's great strengths is that the cutting pattern of the films he creates mir mirrors the emotional and psychological profile of what the character is going through. So the film unwittingly, you know, brings you right into his interior experience. What to do about the game, how to change the game, you know, that's not what this film is about. This film is about the search for the truth about what's really happening inside the helmets of these players. And more than that, uh, the forces that are marshalling against telling the truth. It's a classic whistleblower political thriller in some ways. I think that when you walk out of this movie, you will feel two things. I think you'll feel the sort of the victorious power of Bennett's vindication. One immigrant Nigerian man up against this monolith of the NFL and really the networks and us and everybody who sits down and watches the game on Sundays just to tell the damn truth about what's going on. So there's that and then there's definitely the conflict like well what do I do now and now I know this is happening so when I turn on the game on Sunday or on Super Bowl Sunday what am I supposed to feel? I don't know but the film definitely confronts you with that question.